All right, so now that you know a little bit about each database and you might have an idea of which databases you would like to try to start your research in, now you need to know how to search. So searching in databases looks different than searching in Google. You want to use one to two keywords in your search. So you don't want to use sentences, phrases, or questions because too many words are going to confuse the database. So to give you an example, in Google, I always like to just go to the search bar and I like to just type out a whole long search. So how to train a dog for nail trims. We were having some issues with my puppies not allowing us to tr trim their nails. So I did a Google search for how to train dog for nail trims. Okay. The nice thing about Google is you can add lots of extra stuff in there. So I might even just want to see a video so I can add in YouTube. You can put a whole big long search term in that Google box and they're going to assume that anything in the search bar on Google, they're going to assume that it goes together and they're going to search for all of those things together and try and find you good, accurate results. Now, if I took all of these words and tried to type them in a database search bar, it's going to confuse the database. They're going to look for train. They're going to look for dog. They're going to look for nail. They're going to look for YouTube. They're going to come up with all kinds of different articles that have nothing to do with this entire concept. There's a specific way that you need to put together a search in a database if it's more than one word. So try and use sentence, don't use sentences, phrases, and questions. Try and keep it to just one or two words. All right, you also want to use synonyms to search. So don't just keep trying the same thing over and over and over again. So for example, if you are doing wind energy and you're not getting the results that you want, don't just keep typing in wind energy. Think of some synonyms. So you might want to search for wind turbines or renewable energy or wind power. Or if you're doing a paper that has to do with discrimination, you could also try prejudice or bias or inequity or racism. So try and think of other synonyms or other ways to say the things that you are searching for. You will want to use the advanced search. So you can adjust Lexile, that's your reading level. So if you want to find um, articles that are a little bit easier to read, if you're having trouble reading through some of these articles, some of them are very high reading levels, that's fine. You can adjust it a little bit lower. Um, you also want to make sure that you are asking for full text articles. So you'll want to make sure that it's going to pop up um, the whole entire article and it's not just going to say, oh, you can go find it in this magazine somewhere because we don't have that magazine. So you want to find the full text article right on the internet. Um, in the advanced searching, you can, like I say, adjust Lexile. You can also choose your source type. So if you want to pick full text, obviously that's what we want. Um, you can look for newspapers, magazines, government documents, videos, images. Um, there's lots of different types of sources that you can find. Um, you can narrow it down for publication date. So let's say you're doing a paper about uh, cell phone usage. Um, you are not going to want cell phone articles from the year 2000 because cell phone technology has changed a lot from the year 2000 to the year 2020. Um, and then peer reviewed is another option that you can pick. And this means that this article has been reviewed by a board of scholarly reviewers before it is published. So this is kind of the issue that we're having with coronavirus right now and with COVID um, is that it's so new, there hasn't been enough time for a lot of these articles that are coming out to be peer reviewed. So somebody will do a study and they'll publish this study but it takes time for somebody else to also try and replicate those experiments and those studies. And if it would get the same results, then that, that would be peer reviewed. So when you are replicating things and trying to verify things, that takes a little bit of time. That's why coronavirus seems a little all over the place right now. We seem like we're getting a lot of different information from different sources. So show you an example. If I were to do a search for wind energy on Google, I would come up with, oh my gosh, what is that number even? Is it billion? Yeah, over a billion results. Um, so that's a lot, a lot, a lot of articles to try and narrow it down. So I want to use my database. So I'm going to go to my database here. 
remind you how to get into Gale. So I'm using Gale because Gale is the one that we are probably almost all of us going to use. Pretty, it covers pretty much any topic. So you're going to click on the middle school. The box will pop up to get you to log in. You're going to sign in. And then this little green box up here, you have to click here. So you can't just go back down to the middle school. You have to click in this green box by Indian Hills to get yourself logged in. All right, so once you are logged in, all of these searches are going to be in this advanced search right here. So you're gonna to wanna to click on the advanced search and when you get to the advanced search, make sure that this full text document is clicked so that way you get the whole article. And then here's where you can narrow things down. So if you want to narrow it by publication date, so if you just want fairly recent articles, maybe uh, 2015 to 2020, you can do that there. This is the content type. So you can say, I just want to find um, a poster. Okay, you could look for that. Um, content type. So this is where, this will probably be kind of helpful, magazine, news. Um, so this is where you're going to narrow things down, Lexile measure, all of that type of stuff. So that's the features in the advanced search. There are also, oops, there we go. There are also some other features like you can save your research, cite your research, and there's a topic finder. So let's talk about those. So if we do the topic finder right here, if you're still trying to narrow down your topic, inside the advanced search, you can go through the topic finder and let's type in energy. And there are two different ways that it's going to visualize this in tiles or the wheel. I prefer the tiles but you could try the wheel one out too. Um, so in energy, you get all of these different things. I want to go to, um, let's go to renewable energy because my topic, I was thinking about wind energy. So if I click on renewable energy and then I can do, oh yeah, clean energy. And then it's gonna give me a couple of articles over here for clean energy. So this tool will give you some articles, but it'll also help you kind of narrow down your topic as well. Um, so let's say, I find an article on wind energy that I like. Let's click on this one here. Some of the other things it says, it says you can save your research, you can cite your research. If I have logged into Google, so up here at the top, I would have to sign in with Google and make sure that it says my name up here. But if I'm logged in with Google, I can save these things, I can cite them, so I can copy this and save it right into my Google Drive so I can save uh, my citations. And I can save this article into Google Drive as well. So that way, if I'm like, yep, this is an article that is great for my paper, I can come back to it. All right, the last thing that I wanna to talk to you all about is using Boolean search terms. So there is a way that you can use quotation marks you can use the word and, not, and, or to help you in your search. So if we just go back to the main Gale page, remember we're going to this advanced search, you can use this search box right here, but the advanced search is going to give you so many more better results and more control over your search. And so this is where the and, or, and not would be used. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to this Boolean operators video and then come back to how to search part two after you watch the Boolean operators video.